ghee. It's just like butter except the milk solids and water have been removed from it and you're left with pure and good for you fat. It's used in most of the Asian cuisines not just because of its rich flavor but it also have got incredible healing properties. In this video I'm going to show you how to make desi ghee at home. It's really easy and quick process so let's get started. For ghee, use a deep and heavy bottom pan to melt the butter. I'm taking 4 blocks of unsalted butter, 250 grams each. Means all together we have got 1 kg butter and I will get about 800 to 900 grams of ghee. You can also use salted butter, you will just have a little salty flavour in ghee. You can increase or decrease the quantity of butter according to your need, but the process of making ghee is going to be the same. Start melting butter on medium to high flame as I'm using thick bottom non-stick pan so I'm keeping high flame to melt the butter. If you want, then you can slice the butter up and then melt them but it just takes 2-3 to three minutes for butter to melt on high flame. Once butter has melted completely, then it will start bubbling and separating milk solids. As butter simmers, some of the milk protein rise and sit on the surface as it gets separated from fat and water. As you can see, it's bubbling a lot, just keep an eye on it. If you will cook it on low to medium flame, then it may start bubbling and can raise to come out of the pot. On high flame, it bubbles a lot, but it doesn't raise to come out of the pot. As you can see that milk solids have been removed from the surface of the butter and settling down on the pan. Continue to simmer the butter over medium to high heat. As I'm using non-stick thick bottom pan, I'm not going to change the heat at all. From start to the end, I'm keeping it on high flame. If you haven't got thick and non-stick pan, then cook it on low to medium heat and keep stirring it occasionally until the fat settles down at the bottom of the pan. After about 15 to 20 minutes, you will start getting a lot more bubbles but this time these bubbles are quite clear. You will also notice the change in colour and smell. Now it's time to turn the heat off and remove the pan from the stove. Let it cool down for about 20 minutes to half an hour and then pour the ghee in a container. Transfer the ghee to a clean and dry steel container or a glass jar which can be stored at a room temperature for up to 4-5 to five months or refrigerated for one year. It will solidate naturally at room temperature. Make sure you add 1-2 to two tablespoons of cow's ghee in your daily diet to get all the benefits of it and I hope this video will help you to make desi ghee at home and if you did like our video then please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel using the link on the screen. Thank you.